Okay, guys, today we're going to look at how to calculate the surface area of an octagonal prism. We know that we see um, an octagon that has eight sides, okay? Um, when we look at that, we have eight rectangles that make up the sides, um, the lateral sides, and then we have an octagon on the base and on the top of the three-dimensional shape. Okay, so we can look at the base as the bottom base and the top base. Um, and we can see that we have octagons for each. They're similar, they're the same. Um, on the shape itself, it has given us some measurements that we can look at that can help us to determine the length across um, that will help us to determine the area of the rectangles and then also the measurements we need in order to determine the triangles that will make up the octagon. You can see that if you look at an octagon you can divide it up into eight triangles. So the base would be made up of eight triangles and if we can find the area of each we can multiply that times eight. We can do the same thing if we look at the top using the area of a triangle formula, one-half base times height. Sometimes we think of that as base times height divided by two. So let's begin looking. We have one-half. We can see from our original shape that we have a height of our triangle that is 35. And we have a base of our triangle that's going to be 29 feet. So one half base, 29 times 35. And that gives us 507.5. That's the area of one individual triangle. Pause this now if you need to and make sure you understand where that 29 feet came from on the original picture and the 35. Okay, so let's multiply that by eight and get the total surface area of our octagon that is our bottom base. And if we do that, we see that we have 4,060. So I'm gonna circle that so I can keep my work organized. I'm gonna end up having to add several things together. So that's the bottom base area. If I look at the top base, I can see that it is going to be exactly the same. So I can go ahead and write 4,060 as the area for the top base. Now I can shift gears a little bit and start looking at the lateral rectangular faces. So as we know, a prism is, has rectangular faces that connect the base. Um, so we have in an octo octagonal prism, we would have eight rectangles. So we know that the area of a rectangle is length times width, and we see that we have a length, again, of 29, and then we have a width of 24 feet. So we can multiply 29 by 24. That will give us the area of one single rectangle. And again, um, let's go ahead and do that and we see that we have an area of 6,600, I'm sorry, 96, 696, okay? So again, that's one rectangle. Now we're gonna multiply that by eight because there are eight of them. So eight times 696, we multiply that out we get 5,568. So now we've got our area of our eight rectangles. We've got our area of our top base and the area of our bottom base. So we can now look to find the total surface area. All I'm gonna do is add up those three values, 4,060 plus 4,060, plus 
5,568. If we go ahead and plug that into our calculator, we get that our total surface area of this octagonal prism is going to be 13,688. You can see that this has a lot of steps in it. Um, it's very important to keep your work organized. Um, and our final answer here will have a units of square feet.